Hey, how y'all doing out there? Uh, listen, since we're, we're in this period in America right now where fingers are being pointed at people who are un-American or who are American or who love the country or who need to leave or this or that, uh, I just really wanted to point out that you're, you're kind of like you're kind of like a consumer that's at the at the gas pump and you see a high price or a low price and your blame goes to this or that, or you're or you're at the at the at the meat market and you see the price of beef or, or pork or something and it's gone up or down and you want to blame it on this or that. And once again, you're you're sadly misguided and you're misdirected into, into who the real haters of America are. So we want to find out who hates America and needs to leave. Well, let's just start with those two examples that I gave. Uh, the two most un unneeded things out there that most of your tax money goes to subsidy subsidies to pay for what they say they can't make and what they should be able to make, but they're held down by regulation, is, is mass meat producers and big oil. And we and we we tend to blame the price at the at the pump or the price at the market uh, for for these items, and we blame them on all these different things. Uh, 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 Iranian oil, uh, Iranians holding uh, back British oil uh, tankers. There's things like that that really have nothing to do with neither here nor there. Um, the, the things that, that, that really fluctuate on these prices is the, is the corporation's need for quick cash or, or um, a quick thing because they get paid anyway. Uh, between big oil and, and the mass, mass meat producers in America, they get over $10 billion a year for what they don't make. And nobody regulates this. Nobody you talk about regulations. Nobody questions uh, uh, where they get their statistics from. Where did they come up with big oil saying uh, we lost five point two trillion dollars to give you a dollar two dollar and fifty cent gas at the pump? Where did they come up with this? They go by peak times per capita. All these things that they they, they come up with uh, that are indicators of their growth or their non-growth. And then you, we the people, me and you, we wind up paying for this anyway. And, and that's not even the, the corporate tax break or the corporate subsidies aren't even the worst part of it. Just look for big oil, big oil and mass producing meat to feed these armies. Look at the uh, almost three quarters of a trillion dollars, 700 and something billion dollars that we put into defense. That's wars for oil. You got to feed those armies. That's how that works. So you're paying for that as well. Look at all the sickness that comes just from... And even what I consider a genocide or, or the keeping down of a, of a certain race of people in America, the black folks, by the, by, by the meat that they sell you. You look at the meat and you wonder, you know, you don't even think about where it came from or the implications that beef and, and pork have on people that shouldn't eat it or eat way too much of it. Or just like I said, the effects of pork on the black folks. You know, everybody talks about sickness and we know that there's more money in sickness and health. And that's why a lot of these corporations are working together. Because uh, they're all making money off of it. But go back to a period in time where, where we were, were number one in education and we were number one in health in the world. And that was back in the 60s and 70s, y'all. That was before all this mass farming and all this poor food and big oil's complete takeover and rape of this planet. You have to kind of put some of these things together. That's also, it, bacon wasn't even a household item until the late 50s, y'all, and early 60s. It was the most unsellable part of the pig and they had to figure out a way of selling it. They sliced it into bacon and made it seem like the breakfast food of American family. It never was. It's only been that way for about 60 years. It ain't always been that way. Our health declined with that too, by the way. And cancer's gone up. We didn't pay attention to the water. The people that make aluminum, the people that package and work with big oil and, and, the, and the mass agricultural and, um, and, um, and meat producers, I mean, they don't, they don't raise anything anymore. They produce um, uh, they, they had a toxic uh, byproducts. Uh, their plastic was never going to go anywhere. Uh, we had fluoride from the aluminum. What they do? They put it in the water. They just made us dumber. They sold you a lifestyle to corporations, and then they turned around behind your back and, 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 and in a very American way, in a very American thing to do. They lobbied for the laws in our republic. They changed it over. They turned us into a corporation in 1871, and you don't even want to see that. When they became an entity, a person just like you and me, and they were allowed to lobby for laws, and they were allowed to, to vote and, and, and support who they wanted in office, well, they did just that. 
So that's the haters of America. They took America from we the people and made it America we the corporations. And then they put in puppets like Obama or Trump or Clinton or Bush. And they and they their big old executives even ran rampant in this new administration from Rex to all the way down. Scott Pruitt, all these big old demigods that came in and just completely took everything away. They, they're the ones that are un-American taking your land. They're the ones that are un-American and hate America by making us sick. Because that's the other part of the beef and pork and, and chicken, uh, the, the mass meat producers and big oil. Look at the sickness they leave behind. Look at the toxic environments left by chicken farms and hog farms and mass producing areas where it's all toxic around them. Look at the fact that it takes 600 gallons of water to produce one, one pound of beef. Just 600 gallons of water. Would you rather have a Big Mac or would you rather have a, a gallon, a, a 600 gallons of clean water? Because that's going to that, that's be the questions you're going to have to answer here now, like right now. It's not that I'm asking you to quit anything. I just want you to look at the reality of two unne- these just these two unnecessary things that you are sold and you use the prices of those as indicators of what's going on or, or even who hates America or who loves America or, or who complains about it or, or who celebrates in it should, should, should leave or stay. When wow, all along, that don't even matter. You're paying for it with all your tax money. You're paying for it with your health. And you're paying for it with the destruction of your own country. How un-American can it be to not see the truth? To see the truth about the true haters of America and not stand up against these corporate bastards that are killing you and, and have stolen our country. And they've even stolen your thought process. Your American thought process. So no, the haters of America are the ones that want to make one kind of a consumer-based, uh, even cultural uh, uh, culturally bond system that you're you're tied down to that you fear that you look at as a as needed as the war daddy because behind that are the very people that have tricked you into manufacturing buying consuming and and destroying your life you you they gave you this lifestyle they gave you the job that is killing you they're giving you the food that makes you sick they've given you the whole lifestyle that is only good for them that's not what america was about so before you get so worried about what their their puppets like Trump and it, and he is actually in real life, he's got this man has a whole lifetime of being a bigot and a racist and a misogynist and a piece of shit. And when that's why I was really not so surprised actually, but just like wow. So they're gonna make him commander in chief, so we must be at the end of it all. They really must want to entertain and completely divide the whole nation now with one word. Well don't let that one word be Trump. Let that word be the corporations. Look at who cries the loudest. The guilty dog barks the loudest. The ones pointing their finger about who's un-American because they hate Israel, that's pretty much an un-American person. Look at their lifestyle, the people that are are running their mouths about this. But look at the corporations. They're the ones that's gotten all the tax breaks. They're the ones that are taking every bit of your money for your Social Security or for when you get down and out. They're the ones that are twisting your perception because they own the media that spoon-feeds you your opinion. So make your opinion based on life, not what some rich sugar daddy, not what some rich war daddy, not what some bastard that that can't even relate to you because they've never been poor or that they're not even a person. They're an entity. They're a board of directors. They're a collective mind of rich, evil people that care less about you and more about the destruction for profit of our nation. Our nation, we the people. So quit worrying about who's in Congress. Be worried about who's getting paid off in Congress. Don't be worried about what they vote for on some bullshit. Worry about what they vote for when it comes to the clean air, clean water, and clean land that we need to be Americans on. No planet, no life. No planet, no country. No country, no America. No America, no Americans. You can't throw nobody out in. You can't leave something that's dead. You really need to think about who is barking the loudest. And it's the corporations. Who's getting your money? Who's really getting your money? It's the corporations. Look at where the subsidies go. Look at where they're not even being regulated on saying what their losses are. And oh, poor corporations. Poor billion and trillion dollar corporations. Man, you can't make a war out of nothing. You can't sell a plastic trinket for a million dollars. Wow, poor you guys. You can all kiss my ass. You're so poor. That's what you can do. You've been fooled, America, into hating your brother when it's these corporations that have taken over. They're the guilty dog. 
They're the true haters of America. They're the ones that really treat you like slaves. They're the ones that really promote racism and class warfare. Then they're the ones that try to trap your mind into supporting them as they kill you for profit. Think about that. It's not even funny anymore, and it probably has caused the destruction of our planet, and it sure has really put a damper and is fixing to shut down our way of life. Food is already not showing up on the shelves. There's hardly no clean water anywhere. And some people out there cheer on the very slave masters that beat their backs down as they live, die, and work, and, and cry with all the people around them, but pointing fingers at them and not the true enemy, not the true hater of America. It's the corporations, y'all. It's the super rich. And it's time that, that their reign of terror comes to an end. And that can only come to an end by us turning our backs on them as a collective. The truck drivers taking back their jobs, taking back their 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 power. We the people, the one the one that got everybody separated into all these little minority groups and all these little groups are, are he hong with each other. Why ain't we one big group called a tribe and taking care of the enemy that kills us all? No planet, no life. No planet, no minority status. No Planet, no majority status. No planet, no poor black folks. No planet, no, no white privileged folks. Nothing. Nothing but darkness and death. And that's being brought on by us because, by God, y'all, we are the fucking consumers. We are the ones that make this. We are the ones that buy this. We are the ones that put it into our body or live in it like it's a real lifestyle. And we're the ones that get sick in it and we're the ones that die in it every day. Every day. Think about that. Take back your power by getting rid, making the real haters of America leave this country. And you want to you want to get a little start past big oil and uh, and the mass meat producers and mass agriculture. Well, let's go to all the corporations that just literally make billions of dollars off you, but they make all their stuff over in other countries with slave labor that you fought against in this in this country. How about people like that? People that sell you worthless shit that you would kill your brother over and envy. That you would kill your brother and envy just to have his shoes or his shirt or his hat or his money. It'll trickle down to money. You'll be getting to that thought process when you start thinking again. So see past the price of beef. See way beyond the price of oil. Don't look at the rise and falls of their economic indicators. Look around you at your dying planet and the brother that hates you for no reason. How can you change that? How can you keep that part of America and get rid of the ones that have pitted us against each other and destroyed our country? Think about that. I love y'all. It's time to get real about some stuff and who the real haters of America that's what we're going to start. It's the corporations and the super rich that control your life and destroy our country. Think about that. I love y'all. Peace and don't live in fear.